Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. I want to be mentioned with the likes of Sugar Ray Lim, Floyd Mayweather, and all the top guys in, in boxing. So, you know, I haven't even, you know, even put my foot in the door yet. So, I mean, I got to continue working, continue grinding hard just to get to that, get to that level. So, that's why I'm always hungry, you know, because I put my goals up at the top, and I know it's gonna take a lot of hard work, and it's gonna take the time to reach them. WBC. Have mandated, or I've heard they're about to mandate. That's Vargas versus Sean Porter. How do you see that fight? Garcia. Yeah. Garcia. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Some. Um, yeah. Anyway, how do you how do you foresee that fight, and uh, who wins that fight, and should a unification bout happen next? Um, that's a good fight. Um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the mandatory. That's what they out. said. If Keith Thurman's actually injured. And how many mandatory is he gonna find this dude? I mean, Sean was mandatory, then Danny was mandatory all over again. Now they're making fight each other become mandatory again. I mean, the dude ain't fought in a while. He got two belts. I mean, he had dudes lining up. Like even WA Lamont was like I say mandatory at one point So he vacated to fight me. So I mean, they keep getting this dude chances after chances and letting him hold the belt. I mean, if it was with the IVF or something, they probably would have stripped him already. So, I mean, he's just holding guys up, man. But I think Danny Garcia and um, Sean Porter, that's a good fight. Um, you know, that's two top five guys in the, in the welterweight division fighting each other with boxing needs. You, know. you know, every time I count Danny out, you know, he always, he always pulls it out. So, I mean, I don't know who wins that fight. I mean, with me, I probably edge Danny Garcia. Terrence, go ahead, go ahead. Lamont Peterson, I picked you to win the fight, but I didn't know you were going to dominate because no one's made Lamont Peterson look like that. You sparred Peterson years ago. Did you notice like an elevation in your game from when you sparred him back in the day to when you guys actually fought last January where you're like, man, I've come a long way. This is different than I thought. Oh, well, definitely. I mean, I knew that even before the fight. I mean, you know, with me and my trainer, you know, we always talk about growth, especially in the ring. You know, if you're not learning, you're not learning different things, and you're not growing. There's a lot of guys out there that are real students of the game, and I consider myself a student of the game. So I knew, you know, he couldn't go by, you know, our sparring that we had five, six years ago because, you know, I evolved, and I elevated my game to a whole nother level. So I knew it was going to be way different. Speaking of being a student of the game, you're one of the fighters that I respect for the body work that's under 30. A lot of the young fighters don't necessarily do all the body work. Yeah. How'd you instill that into your game plan? Just like, I gotta attack the body. Was there like people you were looking up to or how did you learn to go attack the body? Um, with me, I started at our Mexican gym. Like, yeah, I started at our Mexican gym. You know, my first trainer was, you know, was, was well, he is Mexican. My first trainer was, is Mexican, so. You know, that's what, you know, everybody in the gym was, I was probably the only black person in the gym, me and this other kid. And, you know, that's that's all I seen, you know, guys going to the body, working the body, things like that. The gym was real small, probably like a little, a little circle. What know? part of Texas was it? Oh, it was in Dallas. Yeah. It was in Oak Cliff. It was real small, you know, so that's what I learned early on to go to the body. And I found that I was stopping a lot of guys to the body, too. So I just kept doing it, kept reiterating my game, and, you know, it's just something I've been doing it for a long time.